Wow. That was very good. Yes, it was, Dan. I didn't know that many people knew that much about pie. It's surprising. At first, I only thought there was only apple, cherry, blueberry, I don't know. Strawberry rhubarb. Oh, that's so true. Well, anyway, we're going to go to our next segment, which is brand new just for today. Pie on the Street. This week, on Pie on the Street, some music and jokes. songs all day long. Oh, what fun it is to sing a jolly pie day song in a fun math class like this. Hey, pie day songs all day long. Oh, what fun it is to sing a jolly pie day song in a fun math class like this. Circles in the snow around and around me. Oh, number pie, oh, number pie, your digits are unending. Oh, number pie, oh, number pie, no pattern are you sending? You're three point one four one five nine, and even more if we had time. Oh, number pie, oh, number pie, your ratio's mind bending. Round, round, round we go, singing songs of pie, merely caroling unnecessarily, pie to amplify. Here is a little song about the history of pie. Circumference of a circle by diameter divide. 3.14 is just the start, the end has no location. It's transcendental, infinite, irrational mentation. Here we come, a happy crew, singing Pi Day songs to you. 3.14159, no, those songs are asinine. When we're done, we'll get to eat Pi Day food that's round and sweet. And now, Dan, we oh, are back on? Oh, yes, okay. yes, we are. Go we on. have our special guest, Professor Pi. Professor Pi, I met him once. He yes. came to the studio. He's Professor an interesting Pye. fellow. Yes, he came from Winchester Tinfieldville, Iowa. And in this little town of Winchester Tinfieldville, Iowa, he went to go see Dr. Pepper. But you didn't know that, did you? I did not. Yes, I had a very in-depth interview with him. And then he showed me a little bit about how to figure out the circumference and area of the circles using the celebrated today pi. Those are always good things to know. Let's go to our interview. Hello, everybody. My name is Professor Pi, and I'm here to show you all about pi. All right, if you have a circle, you can find a circumference and the area. With the circumference, it's 2 pi r. And for the area, it's pi r squared. Now with this circle here, we have a radius of 4. So, to find the circumference, you're going to do 2 times pi times the radius, which is 4. So, 4 times pi, 2 times pi, 12.56. And then you're going to times that by 2, and then you are going to get twenty-five point twelve, and that is the circumference. Now for the area, you're going to use the pi r squared. So the radius is four. Four squared, sixteen times. 50.24. And there we go. Well, that's all we have for you today. Join us next year on channel 3.14. Hey, everybody. We're now here with Pluto. Is this Pluto? <laughs> <laughs> Hey, 
Hey, hey. Oh, it's still recording. Three. Point. Oh. One. This edition of channel 314. Stop. It's going funky on me. One. Five. Nine. <laughs> well, that was... Go. We're walking and talking. Yes, we are walking and talking down the DSE hallways. Cut. <laughs> What are we saying again? Better? Three. Point. <laughs>